Hello friends, today we're going to use word blanks. I'm not sure that they described the name very well, but uh, basically we want to use our knowledge of strings to build a Mad Lib style word game we're calling word blanks. You can create a, an optionally humorous fill in the blank style sentence. In Mad Lib's game you are provided a sentence with some missing words like nouns, verbs, adjectives, and adverbs, and then you fill out the missing pieces with the words so your choice of your choice in a way that the complete sentence that makes it makes sense. Uh, consider this sentence. It was really and we blank ourselves blank. This sentence has three missing adjectives. Missing pieces. An adjective, a verb, and an adverb. And we can add words of our choice to complete it. We can then assign the completed sentence to a variable as follows. So ver sentence and then it sets this up. And so it's just basically it's got a what, what are we looking here? We're setting a variable equal to a, a string plus another 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 string and then semicolon just to end it because that's the way you do it in JavaScript. In this challenge, we provide you with a noun, verb, an adjective, and an adverb. You need to form a complete sentence using the words of your choice along with the words that we provide. You will need to use the string concatenation operator plus to build a new string using the provided variables. My noun, my adjective, my verb, my adverb. And you will then assign the form string to the result. And you will also need to account for spaces in your string so that the final sentence has spaces between all the words. The result should be a complete sentence. Okay, great. So uh, when we look over here, this is something that's really interesting. They're finally getting us into functions. And so what we need is we're going to set this function to work there. Let's see, how do functions work? Uh, let's think about this as a computer would think. Uh, the way that a computer would run through this is the first thing it would do is run through this line. And basically we're saying this function is called word blank. So we're defining that just as if we were defining a variable. And it would say, okay, we do that. And then so the computer would run down here. And then right here, this format is when you execute a function. So word blanks and then it's passing in these verbs, or these uh, variables. Dog is my noun, big is my adjective, ran is my verb, and quickly is my adverb. Cool, right? Um, the thing that I don't like about this is I can't see it. I wanna see what happens when we make the results. So I'm gonna come down here and go console.log, and I'm gonna do, uh, I'm just gonna put this in there. And so right now, it's just, the result's just gonna be an empty string because right now, if you, if you run this function dog big ram quickly, it comes into here. We, we call the function word blanks and it comes into word blanks. And the first thing that we do is we set the result equal to an empty string. And then the next step is we return the result, which is right now an empty string. Uh, if we put like my name in there, boom, that would make it so that it functions out there. And so now we kind of have the uh, result that they're calling for. And so what we want to do is say my big dog, we want to say my big dog ran quickly, right? So we could say right now um, there's no my in here, so we can just type that in and then we can go uh, the plus sign. And we need to add a space in my and then we want to use the adjective because the adjective is big. So word blanks, the second argument is my adjective. The second adjective is B. So if we put my adjective, you're gonna see my big. And then what's the next part? Well, we need a space in there, right? Because um, my big dog, has the dog has no space in there. So now we wanna put my noun in there. Does this make sense? I hope so. Okay, cool. So now my big dog. And then um, our next one is going to be the adverb, right? Because we wanna be no, we want it to be my verb. So then we'll put a space in here as, oh well, as well, and then we'll go my verb. Uh, my big dog ran, and then um, we want to add a space again, and then we'll say um, my adverb. My big dog ran quickly. And then we'll add a, a period at the end, just for good, for proper pr uh, punctuation. Okay, so what's happening here? We're setting the result to be equal to a string with my in front and then the adjective, which is set to be big, and then the noun, which is dog, and then my verb set to here, ran, my adverb right here and here quickly, period, right? 
And if we run the tests, this will pass. Cool. So let's call this one result one. Um, we could also go, there's another way to do this too. This is a different uh, string concatenation style. You use these little guys right here. And then what you can do is um, actually type it in. This is in the top left hand corner. It's uh, the key that does the same thing as the tilde. It's not a single quote like this. It's a, it's a whatever, an other quote. And, the, and you can do this, this is called string interpolation. And so you could do um, the money sign and the brackets and then put your verb in there. So my noun. And then uh, we should start seeing the result. So what I'm doing is I'm, I'm creating a new a string, setting it, I'm ignoring this one now. And now we're returning the result two. So result one was the, our previous one. If we return result one, we'll have my big dog run quickly. But if we do result two, we've got this guy. And then this one, <clears throat> um, we could do this one kind of more funny, like the amazing uh, dog. And then, so another, and then the next thing we're gonna, uh, we can add my verb in there now. Um, okay, cool. So I did the pound sign rather than the money sign. That's why it came up like that. My amazing dog ran. Uh, and now we can use my verb, right? Uh, ran, oh, I did it again. In Ruby, you use a pound key. My amazing dog ran ran. Okay, not my verb. We want to use adverb. Quickly. And then we're, what are we short on right now? Uh, the we're, we're short on the adjective. And so we can add the adjective in here. Uh, the amazing big dog ran quickly. And then at the end, we could just say to America. And then add a period in there. And so both of these results work. I think both of them actually pass the tests. Okay, cool. So this is one way of string interpolation that you haven't learned before. And then this is the way that they wanted you to do it in this example. Um, this is just adding a string together. Let's see, what's another way? I think that you could actually, if you were to... Yeah, if you set my result equal to an empty string and then you can go result one plus equals and that would just make it so that you can actually just add this all together. Let me see if that works. So I'm just gonna set it equal to one. Uh, my big dog ran quickly. And so another way that you can do this is just say plus equals, which will just take the existing string and add to it just like you do with integers. Anyways, I went far more in depth than this actually calls for, but I hope that you guys found that useful. I hope it makes it so that this really cements in your mind because uh, interpolating, putting strings together like that is something you'll definitely be uh, using as you get better. Thank you for watching. See you in the next lesson.